good evening friends today in this lesson we are going to talk about how to be fluent speaker how to be fluent speaker dear friends all we want to have the better english speaking skill we want to speak well we want to communicate well so that we can attract the people surrounding us so impressively and with our enticing speaking ability we want to attract the people outside and often we become disappointed when we see uh, our friends our colleagues who are efficient in english speaking who can speak well who can communicate well and when we see them uh, we become upset and we become disappointed there and we think why we can't express ourselves like them so actually what is the mystery what is the mystery what is the magical power uh, what is the super human power they have and how they learn this skill and what is the actually background of their learning uh, they learnt it with their patience with their perseverance and they learnt it with their consistency and full dedication to this language and generally what do we think uh, in the way of our learning session that often we we think our uh, ourselves that uh, we want to have the better english speaking skill we want to speak well but why we can't speak well and is there any possibility of learning english speaking skill sometime we become so far flexed and we become so we are sometimes we do overthinking and the whole process and we think that no it is impossible for me to learn english speaking because uh, i cannot express well i cannot communicate well i cannot interact with the people so what is the reason actually what is the and why we are not able to express well and why we are not able to communicate well so what is the reason what is the reason why we are not able to speak well and why we are not able to learn english speaking skill so what is the what is the reason what is the reason that we don't have and we don't know what is the reason actually what is the reason and for what reason we are not going to learn this skill so if you think if you if you think about it that it's most difficult thing and it's the most tough thing and you know that from village circumstance and from village environment and from village atmosphere it is impossible to learn you uh, you often think that and actually you have this kind of wrong belief and for this reason being you were not going to build up your mindset and you were not going to have your confidence the way you learn and the way you think so this is the root cause actually you cannot build up you cannot build up a strong faith within within yourself because you have so many confusion you have so many doubts and so many queries so many negative thoughts you were daily basis getting affected by so many negative impact negative influences and this kind of negative impact can affect your intention of learning and that's why you are not going to build up a strong faith within yourself and if you if you can't build up a strong faith within yourself you will never going to achieve this skill it is impossible if you if you don't focus on your confidence uh, what is the important thing you need to realize here that you must have to uh, you must have the faith you must have the confidence and your consistent dedication and your consistent uh, consistent motive your consistent hard work and your 
your consistent effort can make you fluent can make you feel what you do and what you think on the way of your learning so it's very very vital and necessary that you need to build up you need to build up a strong motivational mindset so that you can destroy you can annihilate all kinds of negative thoughts which will arise in the way of your learning so if you are if you can stay motivated if you can stay dedicated the on what you are doing what you are learning then you can easily remove the negative impacts the negative stimulators so what kind of obstacles what kind of hindrances what kind of negative impact what kind of negative influence you were uh, you were getting on the daily basis on the in the way of your learning what kind of negative impacts what kind of negative stimulators you were getting affected if you can stay motivated if you can dedicate yourself on what you are doing and what you are learning then you will going to have that power will power and which will surely definitely enable you to achieve fluency level achieve fluency level no matter what environment you belong to no matter how qualified you are if you if you practice english if you practice english speaking daily basis regularly with your consistent effort and dedication i believe definitely you will be unstoppable and no force of the earth can defeat you of course i believe you can speak like me so today i am here i am sharing my experience whatever i have learned whatever i am speaking what i whatever i have achieved and whatever i have grabbed uh, grabbed through my learning so it's all my effort it's all my dedication to this language if you can dedicate yourself if you can put your 100% effort it is totally possible to learn english speaking but so what is the first thing you need to realize the first thing is your connectivity you have to stay connected maximum hours within with this language why it is necessary to stay connected with this language maximum hours so when you will be able to stay connected maximum hours in every day that it will help you to consume more information in english more information more stuff and your brain and the language part of your brain will be cramped up with so many stuffs so many words so many thoughts so many stuff of the of english language and this will surely going to help you to achieve fluency level so this is the fundamental thought this is the whole conception and there is there this is the whole concept so you need to stay connected with this language maximum hours but how you how you can stay connected you can stay connected through listening through watching through reading writing thinking and speaking so when you get the get free time when you are free so you need to engage you need to involve yourself in this language in this english in english language so that you can absorb more information in english now the second thing is patience your patience is very very important don't you should not think the highest result within certain time you should not think it would not be your better approach and the right approach to think that i will be able to learn within 3 months i will be able to learn within 4 months we i will be able to learn uh, within 6 months always you need to realize what is the most important thing you need to focus you need to realize is you need to think that it's a 
लार्निंग ऑफ इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग लर्निंग ऑफ इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग इज ए लाइफ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस इट्स ऑल अबाउट यूर होल लाइफ इट्स ऑल अबाउट यूर होल लाइफ स्पेन सो यू नीड टू यू नीड टू हैव द पेशेंस सो डोंट एक्सपेक्ट द हाइस्ट रिजल्ट विद इन सर्टन टाइम सो वट वी डू द रॉन्ग मोस्ट ऑफ अस वट वी डू द रॉन्ग इज वी एक्सपेक्ट हाइस्ट रिजल्ट विद इन स्टिपुलेटेड टाइम विद इन सर्टन टाइम वी थिंक दैट वी विल बी एबल टू लर्न within 3 months within 4 months and after practicing 4 months when we don't see our improvement we become upset we become disappointed we become uh, we do worry about our learning and being upset being disappointed we decide to quit our learning so it's very very unfortunate it's very very unfortunate and so to break the news here millions of the learners across the world cannot learn english speaking uh, because of this fact because because of this fact they expect the highest result they expect the significant and the top level fluency within short time and they often think that i will be able to learn within applying these short tricks applying these short methods short techniques so whatever short whatever short techniques you may call whatever short techniques short strategies short uh, tips all these are all these are baseless and uh, groundless in respect of language learning i believe a uh, as per in accordance to my experience in accordance to my uh, opinion in accordance to my belief that it's it's a wrong conception so now the third thing is practice practice if you don't practice if you don't uh, practice you speaking you if you don't uh don't if you do not communicate if you do not interact with the people you will never going to achieve 100 percent fluency so you need to practice on every every daily basis you need to practice whenever you will be able to practice more and more and whenever you will be able to practice practice uh with your full hearted effort with a hundred percent effort you will going to see your own own improvement definitely this is the this is the mystery of learning english speaking so the more you will practice the better speaker and the better fluency level you will going to achieve so this these three things these three things you need to realize and you need to think about so <clears throat> if you have the intention if you really uh, if you honestly want to learn english speaking so must you need to must build up you you should build up your faith you will power a strong motivation through your dedication through your uh, consistency and and if you can build up this kind of motivation and uh, this kind of will power you will going to surely uh, achieve and grab and acquire fluency level so no force of the earth can stop you i believe so if you get even a little amount of inspiration from my lesson you i would suggest you to stay connected with me so thank you thanks for watching have a nice day